Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and I am here at the San Clemente outlet. It is Saturday, 9 a.m. Calls and coffee has just opened. Let's go check it out. A few spaces open, but that's because, like I said, it is 9 a.m. and Calls and coffee runs from 9 to 11, so uh, calls will still be coming in. As you can see, it still looks pretty full, pretty full. I'm filming this using my new wireless Go by Rode. It's uh, testing it out. It's just, I like it. I like it. It's a lot smaller. And well, you let me know if uh, how's the sound quality compared to when I had the Zoom H1 plugged into my plug into my lavalier. Oh, check this out. Renault Turbo pulling in. Haven't seen one of those in. Actually, I don't believe I've ever seen one of those. But this, this I've seen. Porsche Cayenne SUV, best-selling Porsche. Yeah, Porsche is really an SUV company now. It's not so much a sports car company. This is a beautiful black and white Ford GT, uh, second generation. And then when they first came out, they were sold for around two hundred, about two hundred thousand dollars, and they kind of stay at two hundred thousand dollars for like, like almost a decade, and then suddenly they doubled in price. So you know. Had I bought one when it first came out, I would be sitting on a, I guess, a pretty nice appreciating asset. Uh, it is an interesting combination. Uh, Datsun 240 next to a, a GD4. <laughs> Let's check out this Datsun first. Nice, look at that. Inline 6, 2.4 liter with uh, <laughs> dual Webers. Here's the interior. Oh, well maintained. The color is like a good looking forward screen. And this 987 here. It's got the wrap on the, on the hood. And he's got a different color on the whale tail here. Nice wheels. This Cormel here could be the coolest car at the show. It looks like a 1967 or 68 Cormel, but uh, it's totally modern. Check it out. It's got a totally updated motor, supercharged. And you can see the custom billet work here. All, all, the, all the hardware has been changed. It's got the barrel brakes, huge 14-inch rotors. Ah, look at the work on this. It's got a six-speed, so yeah, totally modern, totally modern transmission as well. But everything is wrapped up in a in a vintage Camaro body. The carbon fiber wings are nice touch. Old Porsche meets new Porsche. The new one is definitely bigger, but you can definitely see the family resemblance. Old Corvette, slightly younger Corvette. Younger than the previous Corvette and the latest Corvette. Can you see the family resemblance? All right, check out this Cobra Mustang. Uh, the engine, it's uh, using a Pro Charger, which is a Synthic Supercharger. This is it right here. So uh, the setup is not ideal because the engine is, is quite cramped. Uh, there's not much space, so air gets sucked in right here. And it's, yeah, it's, it should really try to try and get from the outside, but it's just right here. It is spun through this turbine. So it's like a turbo, but instead of being powered by the car's exhaust system, it's actually powered by the engine itself. So air spins and it, it's exhilarated down to an inner cooler that's somewhere right there. And then it comes out through here and into the engine. So there you go. That's how a supercharger works. So this is a Cadillac with a Corvette motor. Yep. Basically that's what it is. So, is yeah, an LT4. Yep. So basically if you want a four-door Corvette, this is it. Yep, very comfortable too. Exactly, yeah. So yeah, if you, if you want something that's comfortable, something that carries five people and can scare the living daylights all your passenger, yep. <laughs> this will do it, this will do it. And while I'm here, this is a good example of designing a proper intake because you saw that supercharged Mustang yep. where they had just the air cleaner right by here with sucking hot air. Yep. Chevy actually did it right. They actually designed a cutoff box to yep. keep the cool air coming yep. in here. 
So it starts to cool air, air goes right into the supercharger and into the motor. Yeah, comes in right That's here. a proper design. Yeah, so air goes in from here, goes up, gets sucked in, nice cold air into the supercharger, in the cooler. Yeah, that was, uh, that was about 25 horse, just that. Yeah, so that, that's a proper setup. That's how it should be done. A couple of custom Lexus, nice. <laughs> you figure, you know, Lexus is a luxury brand for cruising and driving around in serene comfort. And then you see you see this <laughs> with the with the carbon hood and the carbon wing and the and the carbon size blades there. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. Now there's something you don't see every day. This is a Mercedes CLS or a Rentec V12. So yeah, you got 12 cylinders in here. It's all covered up by a carbon fiber panel. Yeah, that's pretty low to the ground. <laughs> I don't think it's low enough. It needs to be lower. Yeah. I think you need to lower it more. <laughs> it's not low enough. It needs to be lower. <laughs> Next modification for this truck, fender flares. Shelby Cobra 991 Turbo S. Hey, nice config. Good looking wheels. All cars are coming in now. Now, there's a nicely done Z06. Chrome wheels. Replacement of carbon here. Repainting of the engine. Supercharged LT4. Carbon fiber uh, five point harness bar, nice. <laughs> but it's an automatic. This gives you a better look at what a synthetic supercharger really looks like. So, like I said before, they look like turbos, but they really power by the engine's crank. So you can see the belt right there that drives it. Yeah, it's uh, filling up now. Uh, a lot more people, and the parking lot is getting full. <laughs> uh, I think this Corvette Z06 has won the biggest wing at Cars and Coffee. However, check this out. This is an old vintage Porsche slant nose. Check it out, the slant nose with the pop-up headlights. And I was wrong. I thought the Corvette Z06 had the biggest wing at Cars and Coffee. It turns out it's just Audi. There you go. He's the champ. Yep. It's game over. He's definitely the biggest wing here at Cars and Coffee, no doubt. This is another beautiful vintage Cromero that's been updated with modern technology. So he's got a brand new, basically a Corvette motor in here. The same motor that's used in that car. He took that motor, put it in here. So it's got like 700 horsepower. The chassis is totally updated. It's got bullet aluminum here. It's big, big brakes. Like it's totally updated. 650 horsepower? Yeah. Oh, so there, yeah, there's all the specs. So it's basically, yeah, it's a, it's a Corvette motor, Z06 motor, 18 by nine, 18 by 12 rears. Yeah, it's it's beautiful job. Really, really nicely done. You know, for somebody who wants a powerful Corvette, but in a vintage Camaro body, there you go. It probably costs more than the probably costs more than the Corvette, but hey, one-on-one, -on -one, unique. Supercar row begins with a Kama Rivero, and oh wow, a vintage 427 Corvette, beautiful Porsche 944, Viper RT10, a uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Another Porsche. Wow. <laughs> uh, V8 Power Audi R8. Uh, another Porsche. More Porsches. Still more Porsche. Uh, the Maserati with the big wing. I also found not only does this Maserati have the big wing, also got a, a big brake kit. Yeah, big brakes. So, yeah, this Maserati is actually it's actually a track, so 
That's why the big wing. And who's BMW M Power? Acura NSX, Nano Porsche. And a new Acura NSX, yeah. This is a basically the update to, to that one right there. It's nice and black. Nice interior. It's powered by a total of uh, actually four motors. So you got the, the engine, and there's also electric motor to help the engine. And then in the front is two more electric motors, one per wheel. <laughs> it's kind of like a mini Porsche 918. And, and all right, the thing that's making all the noise is this thing right here. You cannot help but not notice this thing. I mean, that is the brightest yellow I've ever seen. Uh, he's he's going to be banned. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be banned, unfortunately. Uh, it violated the rule. There is no revving allowed. So uh, you're here today, but you won't be here next week. Okay, continue right along. Next to the NSX, we have another V8 uh, Audi, uh, V12 Lamborghini Aventador. Uh, here's a Ford GT, seen this before. It's blue, the newest generation Ford GT. The, as you can see, the kids love it. And here's a, all right, the uh, Super Legera, Austin Martin DBS. Yeah, I, too bad the guy's windows is not is not down because the interior on this car is beautiful. Uh, okay, McLaren, Lamborghini, Porsche GT3, oh, well, baby seat, nice, gotta love that. Lamborghini, another Lamborghini, more McLaren, AMG. V10 Audi R8 convertible. This is actually quite nice. Black and white. Options include carbon fiber mirrors. That's a nice looking red interior. Lots of carbon options on this thing. I see carbon here, carbon side blades. Nice. And here's a nice matching white Lamborghini Uruk, uh, Lamborghini Aventador. Convertible, Rosa. This top comes off and you can store it. Actually, I'm not sure where you store it. I think it in, no, I, don't, yeah, I think it goes in the trunk. Yeah, it goes in, it goes in the trunk. Jay's 4 GT, McLaren 650, Ferrari 458, 458 Roaster. So this is the Roaster Spider version of, of this car. You know, in California, you have to go to Spider every single time. Ferrari 4599 and Austin Martin DB11. Nice two-tone blue and black. Let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the interior. Oh yeah, quite nice. Basically, uh, it's a Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, the whole the whole center console entertainment uh, uh, entertainment uh, package there, the screen and the dial, it all came from Mercedes. Hey, only $3,600 a month. Another McLaren. And uh, two Camaros. Ending with the Camaro from uh, the organizer of Cars and Coffee. Okay, hope you enjoyed this little look at the uh, the biggest car meetup in the world. Every Saturday at the San Clemente outlet from 9 a.m. to 11. If you like cars, uh, if you're in the OC area, you need to check it out. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you like that. Please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.